Epic puts $20 million on the line, and we got some surprising Ava news. All that and more, my name's Ethos, and these are your top five stories for this week's Free to Play Weekly. Coming in at number five, you're probably not going to see a bit about this news all over the place, but that's because Rhythm Racing Games from indie developer Special Magic Games has been quietly chilling on Steam for a while now as a buy-to-play game. But as of this week, the game is now available as a free-to-play offering. Free-to-play players will be picking up a ton of free content and difficulty modes, but not the full story mode as you'll only get Act 1 and Act 2 free. These additional DLCs are pretty cheap if you want to support the title, and they aren't necessary for you to get a lot of time out of the game. What players who download the free version of this game get is 28 tracks that can be played in arcade, 28 story missions, 10 trial sequences, arcade leaderboards, a track editor, and the Steam Workshop. The rest of the game's story continues in two of the available DLC packs. All the other packs include new tracks and soundtrack items, as well as cosmetic things. Coming in at number four, Path of Exile players have had to wait an extra month for their new content drop, and they've been responding by making Echoes of the Atlas the game's biggest expansion yet. The game's peak concurrency is 265,250 players, a record high for PoE, even if the launch was a little rocky. Grinding Gear Games has deployed six hotfixes since the launch of Echoes of the Atlas, which are summarized in a post on their website. Reactions to the Ritual League have been largely very positive, and GGG details some of the feedback regarding the League, including why some requested features weren't implemented. The rest of the post covers bugs and technical issues that players have encountered and what GGG is doing to deal with them. One thing that the developer is certain isn't a problem is the improvement to texture streaming that was recently implemented, as they were meant to help players with lower-end computers. Oh, and also, the console launch for Echoes of the Atlas did come out January the 20th. Moving in at number three, there's a lot of new content coming in Paladins that we actually discussed last week. However, this new content does not include another season of Paladins Esports. That's right, season four is on its way content-wise, and players will have access to new champions, as well as a change to the battle pass cycle, but it does not include an esports experience. The reason behind this, according to a post on the Paladins website, is that the community indicates that they didn't manage to deliver to expectations. As a result, they feel that time needs to be spent improving the game itself, rather than throwing money at something the community doesn't seem overly interested in. The post also notes that they understand that some players will be disappointed by this and adds that those who are looking to compete in Season 4 can still do so in community tournaments. High res will continue to support community organizers with crystal prizing. And moving in on story number two, now we might have forgotten that with all the focus being on Genshin Impact, that Mihai Ho does in fact have other games, and admittedly also with Impact in their title. We're talking about Hankai Impact 3rd. While it may not be talked about as much, that doesn't mean that the devs aren't giving it any love. Actually, as of right now, they have this really cool special crossover collaboration featuring an anime classic, Neon Genesis Evangelion. Probably one of my favorite anime of all time. Now, based off this event's description, which reads a bit like an Ava episode, the angels have made their way to Naga Zora, along with a girl named Mei. During this event, players can grab special outfits similar to the ones worn by Ava pilots, as well as an improved one. Details on how to get both of these are available on their official website. In addition, a 7-day login event will begin January the 22nd, and the event lasts for an entire full month, so you simply just need to log in for 7 days during that period, and you'll be good to go. And finally, moving into number one, your biggest story of the week. Last year, Epic Games announced plans to standardize the Fortnite Championship Series, changing it to trios for the entirety of 2021. At this time, they didn't offer much information, waiting until they had things finalized. So earlier this week, Epic posted details on what players can expect in 2021 and the start of Chapter 2, Season 5, FNCS. To start with, Epic is upping the prize pool to $20 million. Last year, it was $17 million. This $20 million prize pool will be distributed throughout the year. $12 million of that money will be broken up between four FNCS seasons in $3 million amounts. The remaining $8 million will be distributed via mid- and end-of-the-year competitions. They're also implementing changes based off of player feedback. These changes include things like allowing players to play in a single cross-platform pool, meaning players on different platforms can be on the same team. They've added an additional round to weekly qualifiers as well. As for what happens after qualifiers, once players reach the semifinals, their team will be locked and they will be unable to participate in additional qualifiers. In addition, all prizes will be distributed at the finals and the top three teams from each region's finals will auto-qualify for the next season's final automatically. A full rundown of the new system, including the FNCS Chapter 2 Season 5 schedule, has been posted on the Epic Games website. Those interested in competing this year will definitely want to take a look. And that moves us to the question of the week. Okay, an anime question for you guys, since we're talking a little bit about Ava being in a video game collaboration. If you've seen the anime, let me know in the comment section below who's your favorite character from Ava. 
And if you haven't seen that anime, shame on you, you should. But if you haven't seen it, then just let me know one of your favorite anime that you've seen recently. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And that's it for this week's Free to Play Weekly. Don't forget to check out MMOBomb.com for giveaways and the latest news. My name's Ethos, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out, everyone.